Laying your home gym flooring over carpet is a great option if you are unable to remove your existing carpet. The truth is, removing and disposing of old carpet can be time consuming and costly. Plus sometimes, it makes sense to leave your carpet installed, like if you're renting or if you'd like to keep your options open for the future. For these reasons and more, let's look at how to lay rubber over carpet. If you have low pile carpet, the good news is, it's easy to install rubber over it in just three simple steps. Before you get started, you want to gather a few tools. First, make sure you're starting with a clean space. That means moving any furniture out of the way and vacuuming the floor. If you're worried about potential staining or color transferring onto your carpet, lay a plastic sheet over your existing carpet. Be sure to cut the plastic to fit the size of the floor in order to avoid any bunching. Lay your rubber. If you're using rubber tiles, simply loose lay over the carpet or plastic sheet. You can cut the edges using a sharp utility knife to make sure it fits your space. If you like, use double-sided carpet tape to secure the edges. Finish your home gym using a reducer around the edges, eliminating any tripping hazards. You can also use this time to wash rubber tiles or rolls to help minimize the rubber smell after installation. We recommend a mild soap and water solution for this. Most home carpet is high pile with a thick carpet pad. That means you have a fairly thick and soft carpet to work with. This type of carpet requires a little more prep before you install rubber flooring. That's because it has a little more squish when you step. Let's take a look at the steps for creating a more solid surface for your home gym. Before you get started, you want to gather a few tools. Make sure you're starting with a clean space. That means moving any furniture out of the way and vacuuming the floor. For high pile carpet, you'll need a sturdy platform to combat the squish of the plush carpet. For this, we recommend using about a 1 4th inch plywood to create a new subfloor on top of your carpet. Before you begin, be sure to measure the gap between your door and the flooring. If the plywood and rubber combination is too thick, you won't be able to open your door, and that could be a big problem. If you're using more than one plywood board for your space, be sure to tape them together at the seam. Lay your rubber. If you're using rubber tiles, simply loose lay them over your new plywood. Also, you can easily cut a rubber tile to fit any space. If you like, use double-sided carpet tape to secure the edges. Finish your home gym with a reducer for a smooth transition. You can also use this time to wash rubber tiles to help minimize the rubber smell after installation. We recommend a mild soap and water solution for this. If you don't want to use plywood over your carpet, another option is buying thick, heavy rubber tiles like our sports play tiles. They're one inch thick and can be laid directly onto your carpet. They're heavy enough to stay put during your workouts. Be sure to use a reducer to prevent tripping. And that's it! Creating your home gym over carpet really is as easy as one, two, three. If you have any other questions, be sure to give us a call or start a live chat. We're happy to help!